afternoon. Is it afternoon? Almost afternoon. We just went to the gym. I just did a body pump session, actually. I haven't done one in ages. We just went to Woolworths straight after gym. So let's show you what I got. Chuck it here. Oh, surely. Got some bread. That's my breakfast. Eggs. A shitload of barramundi. Some strawberries. Avocados. Some of these because I'm obsessed. Them because I'm obsessed. I got two packets of them. And then I'm obsessed with these. The sour cream and chives. They're just like rice thins, but I have them plain. So they taste really good. I got some more sandwich thins. Some more pizza bases. I just realized I didn't tell you like a little review on them. They're actually really nice. They're very thin though, but for 270 cows, like I had the whole pizza last night with ham, cheese and pineapple and it was so good. I think it was like under 400 calories for the whole pizza. And like, it's not very small. Like it hit the spot. I just got some more ham because I'll probably make pizza again. Um, I got some FroPro ice cream, some steak, egg whites, coffee pods. That's Peter's. That's Peter's. And I really wanted to try this because I've seen people have it. It's basically like a healthy uh, um, cocoa pop alternative. So for one serving, it's 5.30 kilojoules, carbs 25, sugars 7. And I've also heard someone mix up like one scoop of protein powder in with like almond milk or milk and then mix that in with that for the protein hit. So I might try that as a snack or something. But yeah, that's everything that we got from the shops. We got HelloFresh yesterday, so we're like stocked up with meat and veggie. So we just needed like other snacky sort of stuff. And HelloFresh never really has um, white fish. They do have salmon and Peter eats that because I don't eat salmon, but yeah, that's everything. What am I doing today? Catching up on emails. I've got some content to film as well. I also washed my hair yesterday and I didn't realize how much I was going to sweat in body pump. So that's just a waste of fresh hair. I even blow dried it yesterday, styled it a bit, and now I just have to wash it again. So <laughs> that is why I literally wash my hair once a week because I can't justify just going and getting it sweaty the day after. And no, dry shampoo doesn't work. Like it just doesn't have the same effect as like clean hair. But yeah, that's me done whinging. I need to put all of the um, plates away and yeah, what am I gonna have? I kind of feel like something to eat. Usually I don't really eat straight after gym. Sometimes I have a protein shake. Sometimes I just have nothing and I just get straight into work until lunch. But I think I'm gonna make something. I think I feel like a protein shake. So I might just make that and yeah. Okay, I still haven't eaten. I just went and posted a, well, packaged an order that just came through on Jazz Handmade from America, which is kind of cool. And then I just got a knock at the door and got this package from Morphe. I've actually never heard of any of these brands except for Lano Lips and Frank Body. So if anyone's tried any of these brands, they're probably like based in America, but I got this. I've never actually tried um, like gummies before, like for hair, skin and nails, just cause I honestly prefer to just drink it. Brow serum. That could be cool. I wonder if you can use this on your lashes. Probably not. Hence why it says brow serum. Um, and then this is a three in one cleansing balm. And then this from Morphe as well. So thank you so much. Oh, there's me. Hi. <laughs> I'm in a gown because I just fake tanned. I use the Bondi Sands Aero Tan for those that always ask me, the ultra dark one, the aerated one. It's amazing. So yeah, I'm just gonna marinate in that today. I'm not gonna film content until tomorrow because I was gonna do it today, but then, you know, I've got a tan on, so I don't want to ruin any clothes. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to have to eat. And yeah, I don't really have that much to do. Like, I still haven't got my packaging. I called DHL this morning, actually, before the gym, and I was like, what's going on? It just, it, like, it's just saying that it's at Perth Airport. Um, it's cleared customs, but, like, what is it doing there? Like, are you going to let me know if something's wrong, if I've provided the wrong 
paperwork. Usually, like when it's cleared from customs, like when it says cleared on the tracking, it's out for delivery that day or even like the next day. I know it was the weekend, but you'd think I would have got a message saying out for delivery. On Actually, no, it cleared customs on Thursday. So I thought, okay, surely Friday. Nothing came, and then that's why I emailed them this morning. Sorry, I called them this morning, and I was like, what's going on? And they were like, oh, I'm not sure. I'll email them. Imagine if they've lost it. No, I'm not even going to say that. Anyways, I'm going. I've just put some comfy clothes on. This is what I am doing today. This is piling up. Like, that is just my life. Just... It's fucked. That's my life. Like, why is there a change of clothes there? Don't even get me started. That's just, yeah, no words. So I'm gonna do a little time lapse and sort this shit out. Mainly because I need to film content and I cannot film when it looks like this. There's just no way. All right. done it it looks like a whole new room oh my goodness look at that don't look at that <laughs> amazing I, I need to like figure out this is just like my most used shit here I need to like really figure out how I'm gonna um, organize it but I mean there's nothing on the floor hi I'm still super tanned yeah that's that's me done in two hours i also thought that was a bit cute to add there so yeah that literally took me two hours <laughs> good morning i just got a text saying that i got into pilates so i'm about to go about to make a quick where is my oh, this is my makeup room um yeah i'm about to go to pilates so i'm gonna make breakfast real quick I'm gonna clean the house today or do half the house. Here it is. Oh my God, this room. It's just so good when it's clean. Now to just keep it like this. I look so tan. I also picked my face last night, so that's why. Oh, it's a bit red there, but yeah, I fake tanned last night or yesterday. Let's chuck this on. Anyways, I'm in a good mood because my packaging all arrived today. All bloody, I think it's like 10 or 12 boxes of it. So yeah, that arrives today. Just put that on. So I'm super excited. So I'll be very busy tonight going through it all, even though there's not really much to go through. Like, yeah, I, I'm just happy to have my packaging. And then jewelry was sent, half of it though yesterday so i should get that in like two to three days because she sent it express so i'm super excited so i obviously have to like sort through that and then obviously what i have to do when i get my jewelry is um i've got quite a few people on the waiting list for 
when I oversold a couple of things on the launch. So yeah, there was just a few items that like so many people had them in their cart and checked them out at the same time. It like, yeah, it oversold them. So I've got people on the waiting list. So I promised them as soon as I get the stock, I will sort through all of those people first, make sure all their orders are out first um, and then sort through it. Um, update the stock and stuff like that and then I will come out with a launch date but yeah it's looking like possibly not next week but the week after I reckon like by the time I get all the jewelry sorted all update the website I feel like it'll be ready then but I'm not gonna say anything just in case something doesn't go to plan in the process but yeah ready for another massive restock i'm super excited but yeah i'm just about to make protein oats and then head to pilates keep it up one more minute keep it up you're so great standing and talking you got me checkmate no one's watching or nothing i have cleared out the room also from Pilates. I also came home to some packages. I was just showing the two almond milks I would recommend on keto um, on my story. So these two are probably my top picks for keto, but I did receive a pack from Catch. I ordered about a week ago the almond milk, Milk Labs almond milk um, was on sale. So I grabbed some. This is probably my top pick for almond milk because it froths amazing. It's literally so creamy and amazing. However, it's like $6 a bottle usually. So that's why I don't particularly um, buy this because I go through almond milk like crazy. Like I literally have up to two coffees a day. And yeah, this one from Audi is only like $1.70 or something. So I, I mean, I'm not, I don't just buy it because it's cheap. Like I actually genuinely love it and it froths really nice. This one doesn't froth, but it's still nice and it doesn't have as much as a, it, this one's got like an aftertaste, it's weird. Like you have to try it. I feel like you either love it or you hate it. But if you are used to this, you probably won't like this. Like I don't think Peter likes this one. But yeah, they're probably my top picks for almond milk. And then I got, ooh, I also got this at my freaking door. Love that for me. <laughs> I got a package, I think, from Breeze Bum, because I can see the brand on the front. I quite like Breeze Bum, actually. So cute. Let's open it up. Oh, cute. They're new glow lip tints. Thank you so much. That's what they look like. But yeah, they're actually really nice um, lip balms. If you want to check them out, I'll just leave that there so I can do a photo. I'm about to go and, actually I need to put these back in the fridge. I need to go and have a shower because I need to film some content today and shoot some pics. I've got two pics to shoot today actually um but yeah that's all i have to pretty much update you guys on i probably won't get my parcel until the afternoon because dhl don't normally come to my area until around 4 p.m so that's fine i've made room in the theater which i've like turned into my like stock room they're from last time that i didn't end up using so i've got plenty of space in here 
for the, I think it's 12, I probably should look it up. I think it's around 12 boxes. I might open this, that will be delivered. So that packaging should last me until next year because I literally ordered three times the amount. I think there's around like 4,000 units or something like that. So yeah. Okay, also need to make my bed. I usually do it in the morning, but I was in a rush. So yeah, I'm gonna go for a shower. My skin's looking really glowy. Oh, also I got these the other day. You probably would have seen the Frank body. It actually smells really nice. It's like a butt lotion, but I think you can use it like all over your body. Anyways, it smells really good. So I've been putting it on my butt post shower. And then these are booty drops as well. It says you can like mix it in with your normal like moisturizer, but you can rub it all over your body and it just gives your skin a really nice glow. So I've been using that. But yeah, it just smells like a coffee scrub. Mm, I like it. It's really thick as well and hydrating. So I've been putting that on my booty. <laughs> um, okay, I gotta go for a shower now. I'm procrastinating, so peace. Also, these are still available. Oh, my pillow's on the floor. These are still available on the Stacks website. Thought I would let you know. So we still do have the bike pants. I think the full length is like really low in stock or there's only like one or two sizes left but there's all sizes left in the bike pants now i designed these differently to the stacks just normal bike pants i extended the fabric around here so it doesn't dig in because i absolutely hate that when it comes to buying bike pants so they're really really nice and generous down here so they won't dig in and they're just like that seamlessy type fabric that just sits on your body really nice. If you have the first collection, I know if you've watched my vlogs, you've heard me say this so many times, but it's exactly the same as a snake. But if you're new here, I have in total three collections. I've done three collections with the brand called Stax, and this is my third angel collection. Um, they also do have some of the tanks. I'm pretty sure in all sizes still left. Like they literally ordered so many because last time stuff sold out. Well, I mean, the jumper did sell out really quick and we thought we had enough. Like, I wish we ordered more now, but we just didn't know how it would go. So yeah, we still do have the tanks. They don't have any sort of padding underneath. They're just a tank so you can wear them on top of your crops or even as a top without a bra, with a bra, whatever. But yeah, I thought I would do a little cheeky self promo if you guys want to shop my collections. Um, my code has changed. It's JazzH10 now, so it's not JH10. I will leave it on the screen though. So remember, if you're shopping stacks, you can use J Jazz H10 for 10% off. Okay, going for a shower. Bye. Look what we got. Yay. We just got it from Bunnings. We need to give it a good clean though. Just that Woolies. How good is our Woolies? Bunnings and the shops so I ended up getting this as well actually I'll flip you guys around ended up getting this because it's new and I love salted caramel so I don't know I'm not really a fan of the brownie bites I've tried them they're kind of just a bit bland I don't know but these ones these are the macros and what else do we have? I got this because I'm lazy when cooking rice, so I just heat up these little packs. Usually I just get the Coles brand brown rice, but these are better macros for some reason. Um, and I've tried this one and it's really nice. So I just put them in the microwave when I cook barramundi and everything else I showed you guys at the shops. All right, let's start with stacks. I'm pretty sure Woo. this is the, oh, this is such a fucking bitch to open. Can you try? I've like glued it. Mm. <laughs> you can do it. Yay! Ooh! 
the M Davies, some of the pieces from the collection. Oh, I love these colors. Hold on. So I got the Sage Crop. I like this one. This is probably my favorite one out of the collection. It's like a ribbed fabric. I'll definitely do a try on. Um, so I've got that and then the bike pants. Oh no, full length. These actually feel really nice. Those. And then the pink set. I think I got the other bra. So these are the bike pants. I love those. And then this is the other style bra. So this one does have inbuilt padding, whereas this one doesn't. I think it's just more like a tank top. So similar to the, um, well not similar because it's ribbed, but yeah, there's no inbuilt bra or padding, but this one does and you can obviously remove it. But yeah, how cute. I'll definitely do a little try on um, and show you guys. Thank you Stax and congrats M Davies. Okay, I also ordered, you can't even see my face. Let's see if that's, oh, that's a bit better. Um, I also ordered some jeans from Abercrombie and Fitch after seeing Riley's stories. Um, I had to jump on. Every time she recommends jeans, I always ask her if they're worth it. And she said that these ones were amazing. And I think they sent these to a, it's like part of a collab with some influencer, maybe in the UK or in America. So she, um, created this, I think, unless it was just an edit, I'm not sure, but these are the ankle straight ultra high rise jeans and they're in the curve love section. So these are them. They're very similar to my American Eagle ones, but they don't have them anymore. Every time I wear them, I always get questions, but I actually went onto the website a couple days ago and they don't even have that style anymore, which is a shame because I would have gotten so many colors. But yeah, so these are like stretchy. I'll obviously try these on, but they're like a boyfriend fit, similar to the American Eagle ones, but I'm so excited. So I'll definitely try them on and let you know how they go. And then I got a package from Laura Mercier. That's a bit better. Oh my God, the handwriting though. Oh my God, look at that handwriting. Do you reckon you could do that? Look. Fucking Dude, that is so good. Um, be swept off your feet with our wide range of bold colors, opulent finishes and luxurious textures. Okay, this looks freaking amazing. Look at that. How cute. It's just all the little things. I love stuff like this when it comes to packaging. And then, oh, so nice. I almost don't want to break it. Oh, how cute, a little Christmas. I can't believe I'm getting Christmas PR already and it's not even November. It's literally the 20th of October and I'm getting Christmas PR. That's just crazy. So pretty sure that's a little card. Oh my God, amazing, the packaging though. Set to perfect translucent loose setting powder and puff duo. Okay, so basically in there is just a translucent powder. I might keep that for a giveaway because they just sent me two of those powders not long ago. This is their mini caviar stick. Ooh, that's actually really nice. Are they eyeliners or lip liners? I'm not sure, I'll have to read it. And then this is their Sweeping Beauty Essential Brush Collection. I don't actually have any Laura Mercier brushes. That's so cute. Let's have a look. Take these off. So these are the brushes that come in the kit. They actually feel really soft. Like I said, I've never actually tried Laura Mercier brushes before, so I'm super keen to try them. And they come in a really cute little travel makeup case. And then lastly, we have a little palette. Oh, this looks nice. Thank you so much, Laura Mercier. Honestly, probably one of my favorite makeup brands, actually. If you haven't tried their 
um, translucent setting powder if you need to. It's so, so nice. Okay, this is another one from Morphe. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, Madison Beer came out with a collab with Morphe. I didn't even know that. I swear they come out with collabs like every week. This is actually really pretty. Oh wow, look at that palette. All like neutral brownie tones. I actually really like that. That's definitely up my alley when it comes to palettes. And then she's just got her own little brush kit with a few blending brushes. Thank you so much. And then a lip gloss. It says here, include your VIP code so you can get $5 off Morphe. Glam Fam 851 if you're interested. But thank you so much Morphe for sending that. I'm actually gonna try that palette next time I do my makeup. It's really nice. Then I've got one last one from Drunk Elephant. Holy dooly. Okay, I need to show you guys this from my view. So this is the box, amazing. So it's their holiday 2020 collection. Wowzers. All right, let's have a look. Oh my God. Okay, this is really heavy. Okay, maybe it's another box. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. So let's have a look. We have, okay, I didn't even know they had shampoo and conditioner, but there you go. Drunk Elephant Shampoo and Conditioner. We've got a, what's that? Detangle Heat and Protect Spray. I love their packaging. Uh, a deodorant. Some hair ties. Then we've got a Sculp Scrub. Body Lotion. I honestly just thought they did skincare. And a Cream Body Cleanser. Thank you so much. How freaking cute is this? I can't deal. Um, this is the pack, hair and body trunk 1.0. So thank you so much, Drunk Elephant, for sending that. And what's this? Thanks. Just puts a sticker from Ikea on me. Cute. Um, this is, what is this? Maybe a little cleanse? Yeah, but what do you use it for? Brush it off. To clean your brushes or is that for your face with your cleanser? I don't know. Anyways, thank you so much, Drunk Elephant. This is amazing. I also completely forgot to show you guys. I got this also. Oh, that's a bit booby. I got this from Abercrombie & Fitch. It was on sale for, was it $25? Maybe? To be honest, I thought it was a swim, swim top, but it's, oh. It's kind of like the same sort of material as this, but it's just a bra. It's saying underwire bralette. Um, I got a medium and it fits me really nice, but I could wear this, like you could wear this as a bralette and have something sort of like mesh over the top or you could just wear it, I don't know, I guess you could wear it as like a bikini top if you wanted it. got this as well, but I'll try on the jeans after I have lunch and show you. Thought I'd show you guys the M Davies and Stax collab crop. I love this one. So she's got two different styles, so the high neck non bra like there's no like padding in it like there's no bra underneath it that's what i was trying to say uh, it's just the tank so obviously if you're wanting more support definitely recommend wearing a sports bra or some sort of bra underneath like i said i'm not wearing any bra but like i personally probably wouldn't wear just this to the gym but i would wear it as a top like with jeans for example without a bra so yeah, that's super cute. I wear a size small in them, although I just did a little haul on my Instagram story. And definitely if you're thinking of getting the bottoms, go up a size, unless you don't mind this digging in. I just found that the small on me dug in a little bit and just gave me a bit of an overhang. So that's why I like recommend going up a size if you don't like that look. So I would definitely feel more comfortable in the medium in the bottoms of the M Davies collection. But the tops fit me really well. I'll try on the pink as well. These are my new favorite jeans. Oh my gosh, they are amazing. So they are this style. So they're called the ankle straight ultra high rise, just like what I said when I was unboxing it. Amazing. The size 30, 10. 
regular fits me like a glove like like a glove i don't have any overhang at the back well i do but it's not like gapey like some of my other jeans it's not too tight it like flares a little bit because they are like quite a boyfriend cut let me see if i can oh, don't even ask what's happening there um this is what the bottom of the jeans look like so they're a little bit more flared um, at the ankles, but I love this style so much. I'm gonna have to jump on and see if they've got like other colors in this fit because when I find a fit of jeans that I love, I'll just buy them all, to be honest. And there you have it. All the packaging, yay. Now just waiting on the jewelry, which I should get Hopefully by next week, there's already one package in the mail that I should get this week. But yeah, I will obviously update you guys with a date. But if you are subscribed, let me just pull you around. If you are, so I'm so dirty and sweaty. If you are subscribed to the mailing list, you'll get an email with a date and time. If not, just head to jazzhandmade.com. Well, I'm actually so oily jazzhandmade.com scroll down to the bottom and then there'll be like a little box where you can add your email so you're notified when we restock but i'm sure i'll do it on here um yeah that's pretty much what i've been doing today i cleaned my whole entire office for the restock like wiped everything down and just like yeah reorganized it about to go have a shower, wash off my makeup. I've got a skin appointment tomorrow. Not sure if we're going to do needling or a peel again just to get rid of the congestion. But it has definitely cleared up a lot since the last peel. Um, yeah, just going to go for a shower, have some dinner and relax. But yeah, we probably will start putting together the boxes. I'll show you guys actually. These are the necklace boxes. Is that even focusing? And then down here is ring and earring boxes. And then in here is the mailer boxes, the poly bags. As well. But you've seen these. Cute. guys I just woke up or oh, about an hour ago I was gonna go to the gym but I should have woken up earlier anyways I need to go to the shops today preferably Joondal up to pick up a few things I'm working with a brand and I got asked to go and pick up the stuff from Joondal up so we're gonna do that Gonna have a look around for a, did I even show you guys the pot that we got from Bunnings? I feel like I didn't and only showed you guys on stories. Okay, one sec. This is what we were doing last night. We put together 400 boxes. <laughs> um, this is the pot. Don't, he keeps saying he's gonna do it, but he just hasn't. I put that neon sign behind that the other night and then lit it up and it looked really cool. Um, this is the pot that we got from Bunnings. That's quite cute. It's just like that speckledy, um, like look. It's kind of similar to the bench top in the kitchen. That's why I liked it. And I, I don't know, I think it looks really cool in the corner there. I just don't know which plant. Obviously it needs to be like a really tall plant, but like maybe like a tall, like palm type plant. That's not living there. But yeah, I think I'm gonna put the mirror there eventually. I don't know, it like looks funny there. Like surely I can't have it there, but 
we don't know yet. Yeah, like a tall plant. So we'll probably go to a dares or something like that and see what we can find. But like if anyone has any suggestions on what I should put in here, preferably fake to be honest. Like I don't know if I would put a real one there. So yeah. And I also want to have a look at a new couch in Harvey Norman. And we're going to also go to Harvey Norman and see if they have a style of table that Peter actually wanted to have a look at. Kind of similar to the one that we saw in Harvey Norman the other day, but the legs are a bit different on the table. It's a bit nicer and it's actual real marble on the top, whereas the other one was not ceramic, but it wasn't like actual real marble. Anyways, that's what we're doing today. I also need to put a bra on because this top is like see-through. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll put a bra on or a strapless bra. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make breakfast. I'm wearing my new jeans. This is from Princess Polly, by the way, but these are the Abercrombie and Fitch jeans that I got yesterday. They're such a good fit. I love them. Um, and yeah, this is from Princess Polly, but I need to like put some nipple covers on or something. <laughs> I'm just about to leave, but I just got an order and we're about to go to the post office. So I may as well just um, fulfill it now. So she doesn't have to wait until tomorrow. Oh, that just went all over my laptop. Six. I actually wear a six on this finger. My ring finger on my pointer, I wear a seven, I think. It's so pretty. Give it a bit of a polish. She's gonna be like, what the hell? You fulfilled that so quick. I literally just got the notification. In the box. Shout out to Claudia from, oh, she's from WA. Cute. stock there is free standard shipping this time round for all orders over 150 but oh my god Australia Post is prioritizing Express so if you do want your order within like a week definitely choose the Express option um, if you don't mind waiting that's fine I've had some people that ordered on the 28th of August it's now the 22nd of October literally almost two months and they just like they just got it last week so like i mean if you don't mind waiting that long sure but yeah ozpost has been so ridiculous with even some express have gotten held up but majority of the Orders have been standard shipping that have taken so long. Down to two o'clock. So pretty in here. I've got my new jewelry on. How long does that usually take? I feel like how long an appointment that is. Half an hour forty. Okay. Over is nice and quick, and then I'll mm -hmm. pop a bit of foam on. Okay. Tell me why I've just whipped out my camera <laughs> when there's so many people around. We're just at the service station getting some fuel for the car. I just finished up at Erin Aesthetics. I ended up getting another chemical peel. We didn't do the needling just because I still had some um, congestion. There's someone staring at me while I'm <laughs> filming these stories. I still had some congestion around here. I ended up getting another, I think it's called Jessner's Peel, and I also got 0.5 of a mil in my lips. You probably, oh, I guess you can notice a little bit because I am numb still, so they're like, they feel a bit weird. I used to always love big lips, but yeah, I kind of am a bit over that phase. Like, they do look a little bit swollen now, but they will settle down to something a little bit more natural, but I hadn't had them done since January. 
this year. So like my lips hold lip filler quite well. So I don't really go often, like literally twice a year, I reckon. Um, but yeah, I only got 0.5 of a mil. She's amazing. I ended up getting them, like if you hadn't seen my vlogs, of me getting them dissolved. I got them dissolved because my um, filler migrated to like above my lip. So I needed to get them redone and I got them done at Erin Aesthetics. She's absolutely amazing. All of her skin specialists are amazing as well. So yeah, I'm just waiting for Peter to hurry up and fill up my cart. Is he doing it? Yeah. Um, and then we're just gonna head home. I've got another DHL package scheduled to arrive today and then my jewelry should come late this week or early next week which i'm super excited for but i still need to sort out the those on the waiting list first so i'm gonna do all that and then i will set a date what was this little pr gift from frank body thank you so much so cool look at all this candy <laughs> and my name on a keychain oh, these are cute these little clips oh, thank you so much this is their new Fizzy body scrub. I'll have to give it a go. This is what I feel like for dinner. So I'm obsessed with these low carb bases. I actually want to try using the power wraps that I got from Low Carb Emporium as a base. It's just thinner, obviously, because it's a wrap, but. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> these, yeah, they're like quite thin, but they're still like good as a pizza base. Like they crisp, like crisp in the oven and they don't like fall apart. Sometimes like when I used to make pizzas on like wraps, they're like all flimsy, but this one actually holds well as a pizza. Anyways, so for the base, I used this good sauce, which you can get from Low Carb Emporium, a whole pack of ham, which was like a hundred grams. Um, where is it? It's in the bin. This is the brand that I use, Double Smoked Primo. So I used literally the whole thing. And just diced it up. Well, not really. I just used my fingers. And then um, some pineapple, two slices of pineapple, and then just some light tasty cheese. But I need to get mozzarella for my pizzas. And that's it. And I'll put it in the oven on 220 for around 12 minutes, I think. Or just until the cheese melts. But it is so good. Here's my pizza. Literally under 400 calories for the whole thing. Yum. Good morning, happy Friday. I was just about to say afternoon actually. I went to the gym this morning and trained lower body and I feel like I can't walk. Like it was such a good session. I've just logged on and I've gotten two orders today. So I'm gonna post them and then what I'm gonna do is go for a shower, get ready. Um, and then I'm gonna go and have a look for a plant for the pot that we bought from Bunnings, I might go to Joondal Up shops. Um, and then I think I might go get my toes done while I'm there because I literally haven't had a pedi like since pre-COVID. Like I've just, yeah, I just haven't. So I'm gonna quickly pack these orders up and yeah. Keep it up one more minute. Keep it up, you're so great. Standing, talking, you got me checkmate. No one's watching or nothing. I have cleared out the room, also that you can get to be the big spoon. Okay, I'm off. I'm gonna go to the shops and post my parcels that I got just before. And also, some of my jewelry is scheduled to arrive today. I'm so excited. Only one third of the shipment, actually. So not all of it, but it's a start. So I'll start sorting that out today. Almost forgot the parcel. So yeah, one third of the jewelry is coming today. Super excited. So I'll probably just spend tonight organizing it all. I went to go and like blow dry my hair, but then I just wanted to have it up in a clip. Like what was the point in washing it? Anyways, um, these are my lips. They didn't really swell too much just because I did only get like the littlest bit in them. Like you probably can't even tell. Peter didn't even tell. I didn't even tell him. They're just so natural. I freaking love it. But yeah, she said she only put in half of a mil or even less. I don't even know. 
Um, yeah, but like only the, the littlest, littlest bit in the top and then she just put like even littler in the bottom. I go to the post office, drop off my parcels and pretty much just be at home for the rest of the day waiting for my parcel to arrive. So I will keep you updated. I was gonna go to the shops. I might wear these today. Just cut me off because my battery just died. Um, Yeah, as I was saying, I might wear these sunnies today. Cute. They are key uh, link up. Love. Okay, gotta go. I need to get a bag to put these parcels in. Um, I will keep you updated on the jewelry. Also, oh my God. You know how in my vlog, I said, like as a joke that these shoes were $5,000. Someone actually commented and was like, oh my God, what the fuck? Why would you buy these for $5,000? <laughs> They were not $5,000, but I, they pretty much may as well be. They were 400, which is still quite a lot considering, but they are pretty much the comfiest slides that I own. And don't look at my toes because I need to get them done ASAP. Perfume shall I wear? I don't know. Yesterday I wore this one, which is quite nice. I just love C, it's so good. Okay, just got home. I'm gonna do an unboxing. I got quite a few in the mail, so I'll show you guys what I got. I might actually pop in a protein bar. My last salted caramel one. All right. Fenty Beauty. Oh my God, how pretty. These little mini um, gloss bombs. I love these so much. These are really good glosses. There's another little set. I'm guessing it's like Christmassy. Yeah, light up for the holidays with Fenty Beauty. That's so cool. You can get these. And then the Stunner Lip Paints. Thank you so much. Oh my God, how pretty is this? Okay, let's just read this first. We're so excited to try our new Saturday skin products. Enclosed are our must haves to help skin maintain its balance. We want to hear from you, please tag us. Oh my gosh, how pretty. So we've got the pore clarifying toner. I have so much skincare, oh my God. And a refining peel gel. Oh my God, cute little rubber ducky. Thank you so much. I love your packaging. I think this one's from Rimmel. Bloody heavy. Shit. Oh my goodness. Just a few found it. Okay, I literally thought this was it, but there's two layers. What do you mean? Holy fuck. Okay, so we've got our long lasting hydration boost it's like a skincare foundation it says our number one skincare inspired foundation i'm actually very keen to try this so i will definitely try this and i'm sure you'll hear from me if it's good um but thanks so much for sending the whole bloody shade range unless it's just a few colors i've got something like in my nose it's really annoying me um Wowzers, thank you so much, Ramal. Holy shit. <gasps> so much freaking foundation. All right, let's move that there. Oh, this looks like a top or something. Hi, Jazz, want to send you a piece from the store my husband and I recently launched. We kept this aside, especially for you. I hope you love it. Oh my God. That's so cool. I'm guessing it's like a vintage inspired store. I love this so much. And considering I have so many jumpers, like crew jumpers, I don't actually have one in navy blue. Thank you so much. That is so thoughtful. I'll just put that here if you wanted to screenshot and check them out. But thank you so much. That is so, so cool. I love it. This one's also really heavy and I feel like it's food. Oh my 
god. Okay. Koja. It says, please read before posting. Peanut butter bars that hit the health food aisle in Woolworths. So these Koja bars are available at Woolworths store wide. Each bar contains less than one teaspoon of sugar, which means they have 75% less sugar than other natural health food bars on the market. That's so cool. I don't think I've ever seen, ever seen these at Woolworths. Maybe they're there and I just, like, obviously I don't look for them. Okay, I'm I'll do a taste test. So these are, these are it. Let's check the macros. So 150 cal, 11 carbs, 3 sugars for the chop chip crunch. I'll actually try one. I'll try one right now, actually. This one is 12 carbs, 4 sugars, 150 cal. But let's have a look at the ingredients, actually. Peanut butter. Organic rice malt syrup, um, peanuts, organic cacao butter, cashew butter, organic coconut sugar, maca powder, Himalayan salt. Like there's not that many ingredients, which is good, um, especially in bars like this. 155 cal, 11 carbs. Okay, which one should I try? Surely peanut butter. Okay, we'll give it a taste test. That's what they look like. Oh, they're like bite size. Mm. Um, that is literally like biting into peanut butter. I love peanut butter personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Yum. That is so freaking good. Holy shit. 10 grams of protein as well in this. No, four grams. I was like, hmm? 10 grams of fat. Wow. I'll be eating the whole bloody box. That is so yum. Okay. Thank you <laughs> for sending me that. We've got one last one. Pronounce Koja. Yep. Did I say it right? Koja. Okay. One more. I was actually meant to. Do I have the scent that they sent me before? Wait, I do. I was literally saving these for when I got a card. I completely forgot. Oh my gosh, they sent me more. I think they've actually given me a discount code from memory because I think they. Met Oh my god, I've got so many! Oh my. Okay, okay, I'm gonna have to give some of these to like Peter's mum and sisters. Okay. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. So basically, these are um, car scents. How cute are they though? And you just put them on your camera, uh, not reverse camera, rever like the mirror, and you hang them on. I'm actually gonna put this on straight away. And Okay, I'm not gonna lie. When I first got these, I didn't realize you actually have to open them. Yeah, so you literally have to take this thing off. Wait, I'm pretty sure you do. Just went everywhere. And then, I think you just have to like, yeah, like you can smell that. <laughs> Straight away, I'm so dumb, but like they're so strong that I could actually smell them without popping the lid. That one is what one's this one? Lux Coco, which is I think this one's a male scent. No, 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 hold on. Or is it Coco Chanel? They're all like luxurious designer scents, basically. And let me just actually quickly read how I'm supposed to do it. Tip your bottle upside down for a few seconds. You will notice the lid dampen at the top. Make sure you don't tip it for longer than 10 seconds as it will leak. Okay. So I've just done it a little bit. Like see how you can see the lids a little bit damp. But basically once the um, scent's gone, you just un, like wind it and then fill it up a little bit there. And then obviously like re 
tighten it. So her other scents are Black Opium, Alien, Good Girl, Coco Chanel, Lady Millionaire, Love in White, Creed, and the male scents are Salvage Dior, okay, I don't know how to pronounce this, Avent Aventus, Creed, One Million, Eros, Versace, Boss, Hugo Boss, Code, Giorgio Armani. Okay, surely one of these is going in Peter's car. I've got Alien here. Okay, I'm gonna put this one on my car, I think, and it's pink. <laughs> I'll show you guys what they look like in the car, but they look so cute on the reverse mirror. So I'll show you guys what it looks like in my car, but yeah, definitely check them out if you're looking for like luxe car scents. Um, their packaging is just amazing. I'm definitely gonna put that straight in my car. Oh my God, that smells so strong. I freaking love it. Yeah, they gave me a discount code. I vaguely remember from when they messaged me on Instagram before they sent this parcel across. I'm pretty sure it's Jazz 15, but I will leave it on the screen and down below if you guys want to check them out. But once again, it's Lux Scents AU. If you want to screenshot that, that's all the scents that they have. But oh my gosh, I'm actually going to go put this in my car straight away. Oh, do you really like this Chanel one though? It reminds me of mum. <laughs> Okay, let's just have to come outside and show you guys. This one's the alien one. If you have that scent or you know that scent, you would know what it smells like, but it smells so nice. And how cute does it look? <laughs> I love it. Thank you so, so much. Like I said, I do have a discount code that I'll leave down below that they have really generously um, gave me to share. But oh my gosh, how cute. I love it. Good morning guys, happy Saturday. So I'm in my cleaning attire. I'm about to clean the house, but I'm, I need to make a decision about my bangle boxes. So I don't think I've actually mentioned on my vlogs, or maybe I have that the like Christmas holiday collection that'll be launching after the restock. I will have bangles. Um, I've shown you some sneak peeks on like Instagram and stuff like that. But I'm just like really torn as to what like box design to go for. So I thought I'm just going to ask you guys because you're the ones that are going to be buying them. So like, I don't know. I've been asking all my friends and family and some have said one, one box, some have said the other. And I'm just like, oh my God, help me. <laughs> okay. Usually I'm pretty good with the decisions, but like I just, I don't know. I'm just stunned with this one. Okay, so like if you've received Jazz Handmade before, they all come in um, these lid boxes. So like they just come off. So I got a lid box made for the bangles. By the way, don't mind that. It's like tattered because I've been playing around with it. Or there is a um, magnetic style box. Both are the same price. So it's not the price that's not making me decide. It's just like what looks better. Um, also, the insert will be the exact same as this one. So like a thicker material. I just got this as a sample ages ago. But yeah, which one do you like better? So this is the magnetic box. A bit cool, a bit different. And then this is just the, I'll take the bangle out. This is the um, lid box. So insert and then just the lid. So all of my other boxes are all lid boxes. Let me take this out oh there's nothing in there but yeah they're all like this so should I go with the theme and do lid base boxes like it still looks really nice like I love the packaging like absolutely love but do I do something a bit different and get a magnetic box instead like I'm just so confused I think it's throwing me off as well because that's a thin insert and I won't be using that I'll be using this like a thicker velvet one for the bangles so yeah it'll be this insert pretty much it'll be glued like that help like i said next collection will be bangles which i'm super excited for a lot of you guys asked me where my round one is from um it is actually a, a gift from mum but i did make them i made the round ones and they'll come in gold silver and rose gold this can't fit on my hand Surely. 
This is the medium size. I think this one's the smaller size. So it'll be like small, medium, and large, but absolutely love these bangles so much. Um, but yeah, I need to go clean the house now. Peter's just gone to the gym. I was gonna go, but I would just felt like having a rest day. My skin is so dry. Like these areas are just super dry right now from the peel. So I've just been like just putting on moisturizer like twice a day. Um, I think I need to even put some more on, but yeah, it's really, really, really fucking dry. Um, and I didn't put, I haven't put tanning drops on for two days now and my face just feels so pale. <laughs> I'm going to put some on tonight though, but I just, um, don't put anything on like no retinol, no serums or anything. I just use the balm that they give me, um, as my moisturizer for the post peel. Um, it's like a post peel balm. So I've just been using that for the past two days. So that's why my face is Casper the ghost. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to clean the house. I probably won't vlog it because I need to do it in like an hour because we're going to the shops to try and find a freaking plant. Thank you so much for all your suggestions, by the way, on Instagram, I asked, and lots of people did say a shop in June Delap have lots of artificial plants. So I'm going to definitely check that out and I'll show you guys if we decide to get one or if there's any that we like. So yeah, thank you so much for all of your recommendations. As always, you're all so good when it comes to um, recommendations. So yeah, um, I'm going to go quickly pack an order. Actually, I just got one before. I think it's for a ring. And then clean the house, get ready, and go to the shops. We've got a plant. Oh, it actually looks all right like that. What the hell? Maybe we don't even need to stuff it. We've got the filling in. Looks a bit weird. I guess you can't really tell from a distance, but I love that plant so much. We're gonna have to put a painting there, I think. Like a nice painting, just keep that open. Obviously that won't be there. Um, and the painting and the neon sign there, but love this little space. I'll show you what we got from the shops as well. So, I got our first Christmas ornament thing from wheel and barrow mum has one of these and it looks so nice in her house can we put it on the hallway table how beautiful is it it like glistens in the light it's so pretty we just got this fruit bowl because we currently don't really have one so that one was also from wheel and barrow We only got a small one because we don't really use fruit. Like, I don't know. I just use it for my bananas, I guess. <laughs> Lastly, we went into this shop. I can't remember what it was called. Anyways, they had really cool, like, European-inspired decor. So, I got this. Mainly to fill my hallway table. I love that. And then I got this. I already have a Roman statue, but I think I'm gonna put this on my bedside table. So pretty. Look. I love that. And I can put my necklaces on her. It's like a girl version of the one that I have. So that's what we got today. How pretty is this view? We're just at Hillary's, going to Grilled. Nice. Morning everyone, happy Sunday. I just finished at Breathe, that's hot. Breathe Pilates. Oh my God, my hair, no, it's so oily. I'm not gonna wash it though until we get back from the beach. Let me just put you on this little tripod. I'm just about to make breakfast. I didn't actually have breakfast before I went to Pilates so I wasn't really hungry. I just had an oxy shred, but I'm about to make what I have been obsessed with recently, which is scrambled eggs on toast with avocado and every mite. Like, it's actually amazing. So I use Nutellex. I got this from the Gold Coast at Brio Emporium when I was living there. So it's still going strong. I didn't actually use it for ages until I became obsessed with avocado and Vegemite. So I'm just gonna put half an avocado. 
Oh my god, look how good they look. Eggs on top. Yum! Some salt and pepper. And there is my brunch, I guess. It's like, what's the time? Oh, not quite. Oh, I guess. It's 11 o'clock. So I'm going to make a coffee now, actually. I completely forgot to make that. And then we're going to go to the beach today, I think. Peter really wants to go fishing with his sister. But it's like so hot outside. I don't even think we'd bloody survive at the beach. And plus it's going to be so busy, I reckon. But we'll obviously do something because we can't just stay in the house um, on a day like this. So we'll figure something out, whether it's going to the beach or going fishing. What a day. Set up here on my little rock. They're going fishing. I won't be doing that. <laughs> so pretty. Caught anything? <laughs> He's only been able to catch blowfish, but I'm literally editing this vlog right here. Oh, guys, there's a dolphin right there. There's two. Oh my god. Holy shit, they're so pretty. Hey guys, so we just got home. It's like 8 o'clock. <laughs> Luckily, I edited most of this vlog while we were out, but it was amazing. I can't believe we saw dolphins. We actually went to a place called Dolphin Key, so like, duh. But I just didn't know that there was gonna be dolphins. Like, I love dolphins. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up if you love my vlogs and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.